We got this from NJ.com. And I suppose I should pull up the Mediaite one because that's funny, too. Trump loses another big time podcaster. These people are as stupid as you could possibly imagine. What is this? Tim Pool. Oh, my. Here we go. Tim Pool backtracks on RFK Jr. endorsement claims was only trolling after MAGA backlash. Oof, I really stepped uh, in it. What these, did you do? You've these never trolled people before. are so stupid. NJ.com. This guy, Matt Arco, saw me saw the one tweet where I said, OK, I'm voting for RFK Jr. now. It's part of a series of tweets where I'm like, stop attacking moderates. Yep. Why are Trump supporters attacking? Mo- Why is Trump tweeting at Joe Rogan? I said, OK, fine. I'm voting. OK, I'm voting for Joe, uh, RFK Jr. now. And then RFK Jr. quote tweeted it saying, thank you, Tim. I appreciate your support for the Constitution. And then it was hard to read. I'll, I'll be honest uh, with you. The second My, it was shout out. out, shout out to My, the pot there. Myron Gaines was like, I don't know what's worse, that you actually believe this tweet was real or that something about Shmuley, I don't know. But like, I actually felt really bad that he thought it was real. And so I was like, look, you're a good dude, but I'm not voting for you. I was like, you. is Tim going to be guilt trip now into going through with his endorsement? <laughs> yeah, how bad do you feel, Tim? <laughs> and so then... Uh, this guy wrote another story saying, uh, what did he write? Ma- MAGA podcaster backpedals. Ooh, if I really stepped in it. There's like eight yeah. tweets of me being like, you're driving people away. Mm-hmm. Stop attacking Joe Rogan. Stop attacking Kyle Rittenhouse. And then in response to like so, uh, someone calling me a, 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 a cuss or a slur or something, I said, okay, I'm voting for RFK Jr. now. And then I think, I think the reality is two things. It's a slow news day. So they write about me because they got nothing else to write about. It's a boring day. And they, they know it's not true, but they want to say it anyway. Because anything that allows them to say, oh, Trump's losing support or whatever, yeah. is, it's how they manipulate this game. So actually, we have the tweets here, and I can show you the, the threads. And then there's a, a, I don't know if I have the other one pulled up on Rogan. Tim Pool backtracks on his endorsement. Oh, please. If they, they, actually, they actually show the other tweets, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh. RF Gages, and I'm so grateful to you, Tim, for your confidence in me, but most of all for your steadfast defense of the Constitution and relentless love for our country. <laughs> oh, I felt I had it. I felt embarrassed for Poor him, guy. The, but I get it because he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. He's, and he's been on our show too. I mean, like you know, he's a guy. I, I like him. He's not going to win. He should endorse Donald Trump, and Trump should give him a position on mm-hmm. environmental toxins and uh, and health issues yeah. in, in government. The Hodge twins got it right away. They responded with a laughing emoji. Tons of other people were posting. They were la- like they, no, the they people knew, that I'm wrote gonna... these articles knew too. This they the also thing. knew. I get people who will be like, "Oh, I love, I love the show, but I just hate Tim, this thing Tim is tweeting." And I'll know that you just did it as a troll. Like I, I don't think people know. I, I don't think people really understand how Twitter works in relationship with like the media ecosystem. <laughs> uh, they take everything very seriously, and I can understand that in the sense that like. It's a very stressful time. A lot of people are really concerned about the future and they're Mm -hmm. looking to people with influence to, you know, help them make sense of it. On the other hand, like, it's not just a a series of press releases. I'm from New York. We, our language is literally sarcasm. So I I don't know. Yeah. I saw someone say that Tim wasn't a serious person and he tweeted that, correct, I'm not a serious person. And I (laughs) I added to that, correct, I'm not a serious person, says man that bought a hundred foot billboard to put his rooster on in Times Square. To be fair, I know it's funny to say that, but we were advertising a show that was making money. But still. So this is important for people to understand. Chicken, Chicken City, at its launch, we put a big campaign behind it, and it's a live stream of our chickens, and we were pulling about 20K a month. Yeah, so that part is no joke. But the and fact the, that I right. was on and a billboard so with a rooster you were. is That sounds insane. iconic. So it is funny when I say, I bought a billboard of my rooster. It's like, well, it, it was a legitimate business that was making money, and we thought to, we, we'd take some of that money and put it on a billboard. And uh, then people ask me, well, why don't you keep making the same amount of money off Chicken City? And I was like, I really don't want to focus on growing my chicken live stream. It was fun. But maintaining that level of income requires a lot of work and promotion and marketing. <laughs> it's fine if people want to hang out in Chicken City and watch the chickens, but it's not going to be a big staple for the business. Do the chickens know you're saying this? Well, you know, Roberto okay. Jr. I'd rather a, a billboard of Chicken City than another billboard of the Kardashians any day. So 